Hello pool players, Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel and thank you very much for watching everyone. Today's video is going to be on two cushion kicks. I like to work on my two cushion kicks. Last night I did a practice session and I've saved some of the video from that. I'm going to show that to you after I discuss a couple things here. Also there's some three cushion kicks that I do shoot as well. I'll do a voiceover on that so that you guys, I can point out some key things so you guys can really get a grasp on what I'm thinking about when I'm shooting those kicks. Now in this case, uh, I want to talk about this. So if you have a ball that's on this side of the center line of table and you want to make a hit on it and you're going long distance from that end of the table back, what I look at is I look at the angle that comes into this ball and I don't use like there is a parallel shift system. In fact, I have video two of them on there. One of them is with Tony Robles and he explains it and then I do uh, one myself. And that is where we just line up to the center of that pocket. We take our cue and we keep it parallel. We shift it over and then we look at the spot on the rail. We use a half a tip of, in this case, right English and we can make the hit. I don't do that. I simply uh, look at the angle in and then I look at how it comes off this cushion to hit that angle and I should hit this ball. So in this case, I see that I have to hit pretty close to that pocket. So it's actually gonna be more up here. This is too far down, this will miss. The cue ball will come over here if I do that. If I hit closer to like here, I should make the hit on this red. I'm looking at this angle here and then down. Let's see if I can do it. And the other thing that I really focus on is hitting center cue ball here. And also speed has a lot to do with this. So I just try to make, if I'm trying to make a hit, I'm just going to try to hit it with the right speed that I feel is necessary with center ball. And I really focus on center ball because if we just hit one side of center to the other, we could miss the shot. So here we go. I'm going to look at just inside that pocket. And I hit it perfect. So I don't know how to explain it to you, but that's my way of doing it. Now the other thing I will do is I will take a shot like this and I'll put the cue ball close to that rail and I'll come way back up here and I look at the same thing. I look at this angle here and then I see the angle out here. So if I, this is more easy, all I have to do is see this simple angle, angle into this ball and I look at the same angle here and then I just match it up to the cue ball. So that shot looks like this. This one, I usually put a little bit of right spin on it. I mean, sorry, left spin on it in this case. And I hit it real solid. So a little running spin there. Uh, sometimes it's a feel thing for me where I'll just need to put that spin on it. And a lot of times I can pocket shots by being more precise. So these are the things that I think about when I shoot these shots. Okay, here's another one that's a little different than uh, what we just looked at. And there again, I'm gonna take and look at this angle. Once again, I'm starting from the object ball and working back. So if I look at that and I compare this angle with the angle that's the same in that direction, I can see it's gonna be about right here. That's no good, I can tell right away. It's too, it's too steep here and then it, and it's flat there. So that tells me that I need to, cr to make this angle the same. I have to hit closer to this corner. Probably even, let's do it this way. Probably right, <clears throat> right about there. So I'm looking at hitting from this cushion to the red from about the same distance from the cushion up to make that hit, make that angle the same. Once again, I'm going backwards from my object ball. So now let's see if I can hit that. I feel, feel it real well right here. I hit it, but I didn't hit it really well. I don't like that. I need to, uh, let's just put it wherever, it doesn't matter. And it hit this side of the ball, so that tells me that I have to hit it even closer to that corner. 
Let's try it again. Much better, much, much better. It's about looking back from this object ball at this angle, then that angle to that angle in. This is the angle in, angle out, actually. And then we've got to compare this with the cue ball and make sure that angle's the same. That's how I do it, you guys. It works really good for me. And let me just say this. It might be confusing to you if you try it the first time, but here's what you need to do. Just shoot this over and over again. Not this shot, many shots. And just use that technique and backtrack from this object ball. I guarantee you, after about three or four hours of doing this, just solely two, two cushion kicks, you're going to start to get the feel for these and you're going to make these hits very easily. Okay, give it a try. Now let's take a look at some of the practice that I did last night. The first thing you'll see is that I'm lining up my angles and there again I'm going back from the object ball all the way back to the cue ball. So I've got it kind of calculated and then I'm just going to make a nice smooth stroke here once again hitting center ball. And I make a real good hit. I'm going to show you several uh, of my attempts from last night. I actually worked about two hours at this and uh, you know, if I were to say how much, uh, I would say percentage-wise, I would make hits, I would say I'm probably around 80%. Uh, I do miss. Um, I don't show any of those here, but I try to actually make the hit on the right side of the ball, which that does cost me sometimes a miss because I'm trying to just thin it into a side pocket, let's say, or, you know, I'm just really trying to pocket the shot in my practices. Now, if I'm playing in league play, let's say, or in a competition like at a tournament, sometimes um, it just you just have to make the hit so you don't give your opponent ball in hand. But also, if you can think of the angles in that you could maybe tuck that cue ball in behind some other balls as it deflects off your object ball, that's a plus. I really like doing this. I'll actually shoot not just two uh, cushion shots. And see there, I was trying to cut it in the corner. And once again, you're flirting with disaster there because you could miss the ball completely. But um, I'll also, what, I'll, what I was gonna say is, I will shoot single rail kicks at times or three rail kicks, like in this case. And that one right there is the spot on the wall shot. Uh, many of you are probably familiar with that. If you guys, I want to see that uh, just reach out to me here in the comments and I'll go ahead and uh, share a link with you to show you how the spot on the wall works. I like also kicking when a ball is close to a cushion it makes it so much easier and you know rather than being out in the middle of the table um, that's actually a good way to play safe if you can get your ball away from a cushion uh, it's going to make it tougher for your, for your opponent to actually kick at it. Here's another three railer coming all the way around, spot on the wall. I shoot that a lot. Uh, I can go pretty much, you know, anywhere on any table and pick out, you know, a target off the table and shoot at that to go three rails. It's a great, great uh, uh, method to use. That one right there was a one rail kick. I like that when they're tight to the cushion. I'll actually try to make it again here. Now this time I don't make it, but I hit it. I kind of hit it too solid really. But I put a little bit of running spin on when I shoot those shots. And they generally, I hit them pretty good. So really fun stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. Leave some questions and comments in the comment section below. And like I always say, till next time, keep on practicing.